Well, hi there, Pluckers. I've a sore finger again with you. Thanks indeed for joining me for another guitar lesson. This one is a bit of fun. Don't take this one too seriously. <laughs> okay, it's an oldie but goldie song uh, from, uh, I think originally uh, probably best known by Linda Ronstadt, and it's called Silver Threads and Golden Needles. Okay, um, it's, a, it's a particular favourite of one of my friends who's asked me to do a lesson on it for him. Okay. <laughs> So here it is. Okay, I'm in standard tuning, but I do have a capo on the third fret. Okay, this is purely to suit my voice a bit. But please feel free to move the capo up and down, or take it off altogether, if it suits your voice better in a key. Okay. So uh, without more ado, I'm going to go through a verse now and a couple of choruses, uh, break it down for you, and you'll be good to go for that campfire or a barbecue outing. Okay. So good sing-along song this, um, especially if you've had a few bevies. <laughs> um, so uh, let's say, oh yeah, forgot to say as usual, please excuse my singing, or lack of. Uh, it's purely for uh, reference purposes, not a cover version. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> With a tear in every wound All I want's the love you promised Beneath the hallowed moon But you think I should be happy With your money and your name And hide my silken soul While you play your cheating game Silver threads and golden needles Got in his heart of mine And I dare not drown my sorrows In the womb of your wine You can't buy my love and money Cause I never was that kind Silver threads and golden Cause I never was a kind Silver phrase and golden needles Can I bend this heart of mine Silver phrase and golden needles Can I bend this heart of mine simple version of this song. <laughs> okay, let's get to it then. Right, so the introduction, very simple. Uh, starts off with a bit of a run-up. Uh, fifth string, A string, open, second fret, full fret, okay. Then I'm playing a G chord. I'm trying to emphasize that fourth string open. And then I'm putting my, I'm, I'm sort of, moving this finger down to the uh, fourth string on the second fret and hitting that note. Okay, so and then open fourth, then second on the fifth. Okay, so and then open fifth with a D chord. Okay, so, so far we've got this. If you hit, you can hit the double notes if you so wish to. Okay, it's all right. Okay. Okay, and hit fifth, fifth string open, A string, D chord, and then we have this little run. Okay, it's very simple, really. <laughs> uh, I'm doing a so let's just go that first bit again. So. Right, now we just let it run. Right, so I'm doing 2nd fret on the 4th string. So hammer up to the 4th fret on the 4th string, the D string, eh? So and then you play the 2nd fret uh, 
on the third string from the capo. Okay, this is all from the capo. Okay. okay. Then we hit that fourth on the fourth fret of the fourth string again and slide it down to the second fret on the fourth string. Okay. Okay. So. Fourth string open, the D string open. Second fret on the fifth string, the A string. Okay. Open fifth string, A string. Right. Sorry. So I forgot, I missed out a note there. So. And then you put the finger back on the second fret on the fifth string open fifth again. So it's two lots of that. Okay, so okay, and finally first on the sixth string the bottom E and if you can pull off to open E the open sixth string and then the D chord. Okay so slowly for you. Okay, so the whole intro. <laughs> I messed it up myself there. <laughs> Start that again. we do a bit of a pause and then do a strum on a seventh okay so it's an a chord with an open third string okay then I don't and then it's a D chord okay and it's this this shuffle beat and I'm just playing a D chord and with pinky I'm going off on off on onto the fourth fret of the third string so it's Okay, so I'm up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, and then you button, button, so on and off with that little pinky, okay? So from the beginning, let's do that again, shall we? Yeah. Okay, and then we go to a G chord. And can continue the shuffle beat da, 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 so by moving this. Depending if you're doing it that shape, okay. You just move this finger from the fifth string to the fourth string on the second fret. So it just moves down a string. All right. So. 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 Down. Up. So. Down, up, then move that finger down and then off up okay and it, if you if you if you move this if you rest that finger this finger if you bend it over slightly so it's muting the fifth string you can just do it with that just keep that finger on the fourth string on and off because that that fifth string is now dead. Okay, you can do it like that if you like, or you can just do it with just moving that finger, whichever way you want to do it. Okay, so it starts off A seventh. I don't want to be mentioned with a G to do a baby room. All I want is for you better D. C and then a bit of a run, okay? So C and then fifth, uh, third on the fifth, C note, second, first, A7. Right. Open fifth, A7th strum. Okay, got that? 
So from the beginning, right from, let's do it all the way from the beginning, okay? So intro as well, here we go. <laughs> To practice the D, but you think you should be happy. G with the money and everything. And have myself back to the D, sorrow. While you A, now play a lazy A here. I'm just barring the first, uh, second fret uh, with my first finger on the first four strings. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then I'm just. And then I'm just. You can do that sort of hammer, you can do that sort of da -da shuffle beat by just hammering up to the fourth fret of the fourth string and back. That sort of thing. Fifth string's open, okay? That sort of thing, okay? So, so I go from the second half of the verse where it goes. But you think I should be happy with your money. D and then a D7 to go into the chorus. Okay, so from the beginning of the verse, we go right from the beginning of the verse. Okay, that G I'm showing you. I mean, you can play G like that, that, that bit, or you can play it like that. Some a lot of people play G like that. You can do exactly the same thing. Just move that finger down to the doing it that way. Okay. Okay, whichever way you want to do it. Okay, it's a bit easier for you. So, I don't want you to imagine with a teardrop in every room. All I want is the love you promised beneath the hallowed sea. Bad right seven. But you think I should be happy? Cheek with money and your name. And hide myself deep. A and P or G D to D7 Silver now with the G again and keep that shuffle beat going Tears and cold and needles back to D can I mend this out of my stay there and I dare not drown my soul with the warp back to that C run down why you can buy deeper to G but I never Stay there to the prayers and then to D needles A and then this D sevens back to G but it says then I then this D stay there and then I throw my souls in the warm glow of sea run that way sevens D G and I never was a kind Seven friends and back to D A and the end is high to D Silver, this is the end line now, okay Back to G, silver, G, thread and golden D Needle, cannot see man G strum, stop This heart of my mind Single strum on D and then play the uh, the intro. Okay, that's the ending. Okay, so basically we just at the end there we do a verse, we do two choruses, and then we do that final line, which is silver back to G, red and gold and D needles cannot see and G stop. This amount of D mine intro. Okay, so just for completeness, we'll go through the whole thing again, really slowly. Okay, right from the beginning. Okay, and that's C. Just to get that C bit right, that C's C, blah blah blah, A seventh. Okay, 
It goes all the way down to the A from the C. Da, C, C. A seventh. Okay. So here we go. Right from the beginning then. Okay. Uh, right. Feel the curve. it at your next campfire. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.